All right, go ahead. Start originally getting down here with the Keller Williams office in downtown Chattanooga, and today we've got Tisha Little with us from BB and T. And uh, she called me the other day and was telling me that about 80% of her business or so is now being done through these chip loans, and she wanted to tell me a little bit about that. And whereas ours, the majority of our business has been the FHA loan, and you feel like there's some distinct advantages doing a chip versus an FHA. Won't you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. The chip loan is 100% with no PMI. You only have to have $500 of your own money invested. Your seller can pay all your closing costs. There's no cap on the seller paying closing costs. So your people can do their appraisal, their credit report, and they only got $57 more, you know, to put into it. Or you can use your earnest money, you know, do the $500 earnest money, and then the appraisal and the credits credit it back to them. And that money can go toward their down payment rather than toward closing costs. Okay, now you said something already that if I were a first-time home buyer, I might not be aware of. Now, as a realtor and as a mortgage person, I know exactly what no PMI means. But if someone out there doesn't know what that means, what does it mean to get a loan that doesn't involve having to pay PMI? Most of your loans that are over 80% loan to value require you to have private mortgage insurance. This insurance uh, doesn't insure you, it insures the bank for foreclosure. So that's costing you, say, $130 a month. Now you can get house A for $130 a month cheaper, or house B, you know, on FHA. So the scenario is, of course, you can get a lot more house for the money. So it does two things, really. One, your monthly payment will be lower because you don't have PMI. The second thing, though, is you actually end up qualifying for more of a home for the same price, right, with right. no PMI. Right. So, you know, so far I've heard that there's $500 of your own money versus 3.5. So the money down up front, that's different. Instead of being capped at, you know, that the seller can only pay up to 6% of closing costs and prepaids, the seller can close all your, sell, all your closing costs and prepaids. Uh, there's no PMI. And what am I missing? I mean, the, but those right there, those three advantages are huge um, in general, right? It also has a conventional appraisal. And FHA appraisal is going to be more, you know, they're pickier. So if you've got a house that maybe needs a little work, you know, the conventional appraisal is not going to require you to have all these repairs done first. So that okay. could be a big help. The chip loan also is a portfolio BB&T bank loan. So the closing time on it is also better than... So that means underwriting budget. stays in-house and stuff like that. You don't have the, as many hoops to jump through in layman's mm -hmm. terms. Okay, so there you go. The, you know, the chip program definitely has some advantages over traditional FHA. No PMI, no private mortgage insurance. Uh, $500 down versus the 3.5%, which on a $100,000 house would be $3,500. Um, a little bit probably clo uh, quicker closing time. It's an in-house product, and it's 100%, and it's comparable interest rates, right? Absolutely. It's regular conventional interest rate, so there's no difference in if you just got a 5% conventional loan versus the JIT. Okay. So great. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and uh, we hope you will see you next time.